Portland businesses say it is simply the last straw and they may have to shut down. That's right. This is all over a proposed ban on selling flavored tobacco and nicotine products in Multnomah County to help stop our kids from smoking or vaping. So county commissioners voted this week to tentatively approve the ban. Lisa Balick talked with some of those worried small business owners. She joins us live now. What did they tell you, Lisa? Well, they say that, look, it's just not going to do any good. And it's not just smoke shops that are against this proposed ban. Now, I talked to some of the local retail markets, the small mom and pop stores on the corner in some places here in Portland. And they basically say that they sell groceries, beer and other items, as well as the flavored tobacco and nicotine products. And they say the products bring in those vaping products. They bring in customers who then buy those other items as well. They also tell me they work to check IDs to make sure buyers are at least age 21. Now, at a hearing, this week, they told commissioners that customers can just go to another county instead or buy the products online if they're banned. They say it's unfair to target sales of flavored vape products when there are other items harmful as well. It's a flavors. It's just uh, people drinking it. They drive and they get killed. Okay, they don't go after that, but they go about like uh, the tobacco. Now, there are more than 700 licensed tobacco sellers in the county. Now, the county commissioners say, though, they would not put the ban in place until January of 2024 to give retailers time to adjust. Now, a final vote on that ban is expected in Multnomah County next week. Meanwhile, tied up in court, a similar ban approved by Washington County voters, but that's on hold for now. Live in downtown Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News.